Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you to this channel. Buddha, when he gave the Satipatthana Sutra, the discourse on the four foundations of mindfulness, which he said to be the direct path of liberation, Buddha said that we need to be mindful of four things, body, feelings, mind and principles. So, basically all the thoughts, feelings, you know, sensations, everything we have to be mindful, yes, as in our practice. So, this guidance, what I am giving, what I am sharing in this video is based on the teachings of the great Burmese monk uh, Mahasi Sardao and in, it is given in his book uh, Satipatthana Vipassana. This is a free ebook that is available. You can check the link in the description and this is also the audio version of the book which if you want to uh, listen to, uh, the link to that is also given in the description. So Mahasi's method of uh, being mindful of the thoughts, feelings and uh, sensations was very clear it was noting he had this noting method right that when the thoughts feelings so what are thoughts feelings emotions sensations they are all the mental processes which are going so one is the process the movements that happen for example when you walk then there are certain muscles certain bones muscles they they first there is an intention in the mind right of walking and then there is this movement so that happens. But in mind, there is basically the entire mental processes happen. So again, I always give the example of a computer. So when any, if you seek, if you do uh, open the task manager in the computer, at a time where nothing is happening on the computer, even then there are several processes that are running. Similarly, in our body, in our mind, there are several processes that are, are running. So if you want to, uh, so one way is to be kind of a being a sleepwalker that means thoughts and all are, everything are running and we are not mindful so that is what an ordinary person does and he he then gets attached to everything like he thinks that i am angry you know or i am having i am greedy what basically we have to understand is that we have to this whole i thing that you know we have to break that so to break that we have to understand these small small movements in our mind right so what we have to do, we have to note. So when thoughts arise, we just do, th we just label it as thinking, thinking. When we Im start imagining every anything, we, we, we note it as imagining, imagining. This is, you don't need to speak anything. You just need to, you don't need to verbalize. You just need to note that, okay, thinking, thinking, imagining, imagining, right? Right? So that, what, that is what we have to do. So Mahasi says, there are two components of our even thinking materiality and mentality the mind base the mind base is the materiality and the thoughts are the mentality so we have to be completely mindful of our thoughts feelings and sensations not only during the sitting meditation so if when you are doing the sitting sitting meditation you can check my another video on uh, mindful how to do the sitting meditation there i have given instructions so in sitting meditation of th if thoughts come just lab just label it as thoughts thoughts or thinking thinking the moment you label those thoughts the moment you label it or you know note it the thoughts vanish right that is the power of mindfulness we do not let anything kind of escape from our observation it is complete observation and with this observation we gain the practice we gain the knowledge the wisdom of uh, the insight right so we keep noting, thinking, thinking, imagining, imagining, feeling. If there is some feeling comes, we just note it as feeling, feeling. If we want, if there is intention comes of anything like having food, if you are hungry and that intention comes to get up and have food. So you can just note it as get up, get up, ha intention, intention of having food. If you want to, if you are wishing something, desiring something, desire, desire, wish, wish, right? So as you do that, your mind becomes more and more still it stops to wander and even if the mind is still you can note it as st still still right so keep noting right if you if you are if you have got lost in thoughts and if you are returning back in the now you can note it as returning returning if your mind has is wandering and you you, you know that it's wandering uh, you can just note it as wandering wandering right so as you practice this your concentration improves and with constant practice, what happens is that we realize that these mental states that we have are arising and falling. There is like no fixed I, 
there is no you know these thoughts are not fixed you know these feelings are not fixed they nothing is permanent they are these are it's just a arising and passing away that is happening and then when i get the insight of this arising and passing away this is the insight that i get in of impermanence this is the insight i get of non self that nothing is permanent and this arising and passing away is the suffering right this is the suffering it doesn't give me any joy so i realize the insight of suffering with regular practice we need to do some practice to get to this insight and with this insight we get the wisdom and that wisdom liberates us that wisdom frees us so mindfulness here what the practice that we are doing is not a small practice it is the practice to get liberated from this cycle of birth and death right so we are pra practicing in line with the satipatthana vipassana that is given by the buddha right so we do in in line with that now one more thing uh, uh, is that when you practice thinking thinking feeling feeling there are sometimes the thinking may have like sensations in your body right you may feel certain pleasant or unpleasant sensations in the body so that also in the body if there is sensation so either you can focus on the thinking or you can focus on the sensation whatever is the most clearly distinct thing that you can note right so there can be many things one is the rising falling of the abdomen one is the breath one is the entire body one is the thinking feeling okay one is the sensations so whatever is the clearly distinct thing just note that as you note that it starts to change right now very very persistent sensations very very persistent thoughts may persist right so keep noting them noting them till the time that they are the most clearly distinct so like for a like 30 seconds or 60 seconds you have noted noted keep noting a particular thought and then there is some sensation that arises then you change the focus from that thought to the sensation and then focus on the sensation so at one time you only focus on one thing if, okay now if you are getting confused that you know what to focus note it as confused confused right note this confusion in you as confused confused label it as confused confused right so i hope i have not confused you by this video if you have any thoughts questions i am also a learner in this journey the detailed instructions the siddhipatana vipassana ebook is given you can also read the detailed instructions uh, in that ebook uh, so uh, keep practicing uh, the the insight practice we are very fortunate to be on this path of um you know the insight meditation the path given by the buddha so keep practicing and any questions any reflections any comments do please mention in the comment section thank you so much for watching namo buddhaya namo buddhaya